Oh, there's so many places to take this. I do think it's interesting that the media, when a president goes somewhere, they have to cover it. Moderate Joe is back. Yep. Remember Moderate Joe? This is Moderate <laughs> Joe. It's a learning experience. Will soon be a quickly forgotten one. But to his defense, I've always said this, better late than never, which is also the motto for Joe's morning BM. But it's good. <laughs> I just hate the fact that they act like this was a hard thing to do. Like he's got a full plate. The only thing he has on his plate is jello. Fact is, he's not taking a connecting flight like out of Chicago. He's not going through TSA and LaGuardia. He has his own plane. What took him so long? And I think it's fair to say. And you're right, arresting migrants, why? How could that be? Because they're illegal. You're not supposed to say that until a president comes to town and then suddenly they become illegal. They weren't illegal before. So this could so the laws do not apply for the people that live there only when the president arrives. That's garbage. The law should be enforced when everybody's there, even if the laws suck. And I have an analogy, and I think it might be better than your grandmother one. I think it's better. Let's hear it. Go for it. The Biden cleanup is just like what lousy tenants do when they move out in order to save their deposit. Mm. Right? You know, to get the fresh cone of paint over the blood stains. <laughs> they go to they go to Albertsons and rent the giant special vacuum yeah. that like that <laughs> sucks up hair and teeth. Uh, but the worst thing about this is is that he's doing it out in the open. We're all watching this. We're the landlords, and we're seeing him do this. We're watching the whole theater, as you say. This is all like drama. And then when anybody asks him, all everybody's going to say is, what do you mean? Look around. It's spotless. Everything's in place. The border, it's efficient. Everything's going, going crazy. And he'll get away with it because the media doesn't care. Oh, on, I think it was on Friday he blamed the murder of a police officer on April 2nd, you know, three months after January 6th, on January 6th. He, the killing of Billy Evans was by a radical uh, Nation of Islam follower. Ran him over in a car. And he blamed it on insurrectionism. Mm -hmm. And I think it was only the New York Post that covered that. Right. So he's going to be able to actually walk away with this because the media will, to answer your question in a long-winded way, will do whatever he wants. So I actually just moved out of an apartment and mm -hmm. I did a lot of touch-ups. Mm -hmm. And the new tenants have complained. Because my touch-ups good weren't job. good enough. <laughs> and now I might have to What were your touch-ups? I'm curious. Paint touch-ups. But uh, they said there was a lot of holes in the plaster that required, like, spackling. Uh, I don't it's spackle. Spack. No, no, you've got to spackle <laughs> you before you paint. You have to hire someone to spackle. I don't spackle. Yeah, I don't think you could spackle. Jessica, I, I, it is interesting for a president to not be curious as to why does everyone think that my Department of Homeland Security secretary should resign? I mean, there are, it's, there's multiple calls for it from across the... The government, and obviously it's the border towns in particular, or border states, saying that this guy is not doing his job. But Joe Biden's like, I think he's good. Well, you have to wonder what's going on behind the scenes in this. We, we know that Joe Biden pays attention to what's going on, what people are saying about him. We know that he's expressed concerns about Kamala Harris's performance and been angry that it seems to be bringing down the whole kind of reputation of the administration, that she's a weak link in that. Um, so I'm sure that he is concerned, especially heading into now a Republican-controlled Congress, that he might be facing impeachment hearings with Secretary Mayorkas, whatever investigations are going to do into him and his family. And I know we're going to talk about that later in the show. But it does feel to me, and I appreciate that Greg said better late than never, not the poop part of that, but just the general political I did point. That for the poop part. <laughs> I believe that, truly. And the audience knows that that is the thing you feel most passionate about. Um, Stop moving the goalposts on it, right? People said, go to the border. He went to the border. You know, four hours, okay. Uh, what do you want, six hours? He's walking around. He was meeting the people who were actually patrolling there. He didn't accuse anyone of whipping any migrants, right? He said, what do they need? They need more money. I'm going to get them the money that they need. You should apologize but to them. The, the migrants. You brought it up. That's no why more we... goalpost moving no, what do you until mean? What? the B block. Nobody, so, nobody <laughs> accused, no Republicans accused them of whipping. Uh, yeah. Okay. We don't have just a, we don't have a comparison thing. for that, Jessica. And you brought it up. So I have to just interject and say that's not a goalpost mover. That was a requirement of the president who demeaned uh, actual American citizens, which presidents aren't supposed to do. No. And even you would agree to that. I, I would. Just one thing quickly. <laughs> um, so that sheet, that paper that Abbott delivered to him, it had like five demands on it. And I would say that Governor Abbott is very good at these kinds of 
stunts, frankly, when you look at what was actually listed as the things that he wanted them to happen. So the first thing is something that no president has ever done before, Republican or Democrat. So to actually read the law that in such a way that everyone should be detained versus paroling anyone. How is Governor Abbott mm -hmm. thinking that we're going to detain even if we had a million less migrants? Then this request okay. to fully enforce Title 42, that's happening, plus the fact that Biden now has a deal with Mexico. Also, Biden should aggressively prosecute illegal entry and also expel everyone. I don't think that's possible at the same time. If you'd like to pr prosecute someone, they have to be in your country. All right. So grandstanding, Governor Abbott. What I talk about grandstanding, <laughs> I mean, does it count if you go to the border and you completely eliminate something with a lie by erasing the problem from the streets of El Paso and acting like that's the issue? I mean, if you want a, a lesson in government propaganda 101, look at exactly what they did ahead of Joe Biden's visit to, to this place. He went to a processing center, didn't meet with any actual migrants to ask them about maybe what, what's happening at the border. Um, they completely moved out the town, and it's disrespectful to the Border Patrol, and that's why morale is down, but it's also disrespectful to the Democrat officials in El Paso who've been begging him to go see the problem. I mean, this is not acceptable from the federal government right. to go in and wipe this away and act like this is actually the picture of what's happening. That is a lie. That is not true. Just like saying the agents whipped the migrants, that was also a lie that they continue to perpetuate because they haven't apologized for it. Looking forward, uh, the National Security Advisor, Jake uh, Sullivan, was asked today about President Biden's meeting with the Mexican president. He didn't bring up the word cartel a single time, mm -hmm. but he did bring up the issue of climate change. And the bigger picture here is that the Mexican government is actually very corrupt. They are in bed with the cartels, which is why whenever we talk about going into Mexico or doing what Congressman Matt Walsh wants, wants to do, Waltz wants to do with allowing there to be military force that we can use mm -hmm. against the cartels, Mexican government gets really touchy and says, yep. well, it's about our sovereignty. Oh, really? It's not about right. you guys. It's not about the Mexican government. It's about going after the cartels. Be a great question. And that's exactly why they don't want to go after it. And it, I'm telling you, if they don't get this under control, you're seeing American citizens going to the border, getting paid off by the cartels yep. to do their work. It will bleed into other aspects like government officials, and it will be just like Mexico mm -hmm. along the border, which cartels already have control of. I felt like it was um, as if a president showed up six months after a natural disaster and said, wow, it's really bad. Yeah. I got it. Maybe we should do Teachable. something here. Good thing that came and learned all about it.